If you want to know the best Oscar winning movies, you should definitely watch our ranking for the best picture winners of the 1980s. What are you smiling at, huh? You want something to smile at, huh? You want right, something to smile at? We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Number 10. Chariots of Fire, 1981. He's got something to prove, something personal. Something guys like Coach will never understand in a million years. Chariots of Fire is a 1981 British historical drama sports film directed by Hugh Hudson and stars Ben Cross, Ian Charlson, Nigel Havers, and Cheryl Campbell. Based on true events, the story revolves around the story of two seemingly very different athletes competing in the 1924 Olympics, drawn together by their drive to win. One is a devout Christian seeking to prove his devotion to God by winning. The other is a determined Jew, fighting to prove that his religious beliefs do not make him inferior to others. I believe God made me for a purpose. But he also made me fast. And when I run, I feel his pleasure. Number 9 out of Africa, 1985. How much closer did you expect to let her come? A bit. Out of Africa is a 1985 epic romantic drama film, directed and produced by Sidney Pollack and stars Robert Redford and Meryl Streep. Set in colonial Kenya of the 19th century, the film recounts the story of a baroness falling into a passionate love affair with a free-spirited hunter. Caught between a marriage of convenience to an unfaithful, careless husband, troubles at the plantation and a lover that values his freedom above the true love, Karen must fight for her personal growth. My Limoges, my farm. It's an awful lot to own, isn't it? I have paid a price for everything I own. And what is it exactly that's yours? We're not owners here, Karen. We're just passing through. Number 8. Terms of Endearment, 1983. What the hell? You, you want to have dinner out sometime? No, thank you. What about lunch? Terms of Endearment is a 1983 comedy drama film directed, written, and produced by James L. Brooks and stars Shirley MacLaine, Deborah Winger, Jack Nicholson, and Danny DeVito. Following the lives and relationships of a mother and daughter duo, the story uncovers 30 years of life from Aurora's overly protective instincts seeking to shield her daughter Emma from the realities of growing up, to her apprehensiveness to accept Emma's marriage. The film takes us through a journey heavily punctuated with laughs and cries as the two women care for each other. Well, if you want to have lunch with me in some restaurant so we could improve the atmosphere in this neighborhood, I wouldn't exactly say no. Come here. We're too far apart to talk. Number seven. Ordinary People, 1980. Give me the camera, Calvin, Not please. until I get a picture of the two of you. Cal. Hang on a sec. Give me the goddamn camera! Ordinary People is a 1980 drama film directed by Robert Redford and stars Donald Sutherland, Mary Tyler Moore, Judd Hirsch, and Timothy Hutton. An affluent family is torn apart by the accidental death of the older son trying to save the younger from committing suicide. Haunted by the terrible past, the family lives in limbo while seeming completely ordinary and perfect from the outside. But even the most ordinary things can hide terrible misfortunes inside. Maybe this is how they sit around and talk at the hospital, but we're not at the hospital now. You never came to the hospital! How, how do you know about the hospital? Come to the hospital? Now, you know that she did. She had the flu and, and she couldn't come inside, but she came yeah, to the well, hospital. Yeah, well, she wouldn't have had any flu if Buck was in the hospital. She would have come if Buck was in the hospital. Buck never would have been in the hospital! That's enough! Number 6. The Last Emperor, 1987. They will be escorted to the home of his father and remain there under guard as state prisoners until further notice. The Last Emperor is a 1987 epic biographical drama film directed by Bernardo Bertolucci and stars John Lone, Joanne Chen, Peter O'Toole, and Ro Sheng Ying. Born into a world trapped in the past of ancient traditions, nothing could have prepared the young boy for the world of change. The historical film captures the life of the last emperor of the Chinese dynasty, as he grows up shielded from the changing world with responsibilities sprung on him since infancy. Trained since birth as the absolute monarch, the boy couldn't have been more unprepared. Do you think they would kill me? You must do as they say, your majesty. 
while I try to reach the British Embassy. They will give you asylum there. Number five. Kramer versus Kramer, 1979. I'd like to know what law is it that says that a woman is a better parent simply by virtue of her sex. Kramer vs. Kramer is a 1979 legal drama film written and directed by Robert Benton and stars Dustin Hoffman, Meryl Streep, and Justin Henry. Spiteful Joanna Kramer decides to walk out from her insensitive husband Michael Kramer and their five-year-old son Billy. The film focuses on the story of a failed marriage, its impact on an oblivious child, and the tragedy of custody battles. The movie won five Academy Awards, including Best Picture, Best Supporting Actress, and Best Actor for Dustin Hoffman. We get up in the morning, and then we eat breakfast, and he talks to me, and then we go to school, and at night we have dinner together, and, and we talk then, and I read to him, and, and we built a life together, and we love each other. Number four, Gandhi, 1982. They will have my dead body, not my obedience. Gandhi is a 1982 epic historical drama film directed by Richard Attenborough and stars Ben Kingsley in the title role. Based on the life of Mohandas Gandhi, the man who led a non-violent revolution in India, and the historical events that unfold during the movement against British rule of the country. Portrayed as a thoroughly non-violent man, the film recounts his patience and drive along with Gina's stubbornness to be the driving force to achieve independence from the British rule. We will not strike a blow, but we will receive them, and through our pain, we will make them see their injustice, and it will hurt. Number 3. Rain Man, 1988. Are we hungry? Yeah, Tuesday we have pancakes. Pancakes? Well, yeah. that sounds good. We'll get some pancakes. Maple syrup. Hey, bet your butt. Bet your butt. Rain Man is a 1988 comedy drama film directed by Barry Levinson and stars Dustin Hoffman, Tom Cruise, and Valeria Golino. A self-centered and abrasive young man, Charlie Babbitt, discovers that his long-estranged father has passed away, leaving everything to his autistic son, whose existence he wasn't even aware of. With only his father's rose bushes and beloved vintage car, Charlie must make a journey across the country to discover a bond of understanding and fellowship that may end up changing both their lives. You took my queen, Ray. I've got a 10. I needed that queen. I can't take Sir, your queen. Sir, please don't touch the cards. I need my own queen, Ray. There's lots of them. There's lots of them? Lots and lots of them. Number two. Platoon, 1986. That hole ain't gonna dig itself. Come on, boy, get your dick skin on that thing. Dig! You can get all day. Dig, dig! Platoon is a 1986 war film written and directed by Oliver Stone and stars Tom Berenger, Willem Dafoe, and Charlie Sheen. Based on Oliver Stone's experiences fighting in the Vietnam War, the film follows the journey of a neophyte soldier caught between two sergeants fighting for control over the platoon. Torn by the horrors of war and the casualties it inflicts in the forms of life and innocence, he discovers the duality in the nature of men and the moral dilemmas that arise in the face of survival. Now, I got no fight with any man who does what he's told. And when he don't, the machine breaks down. And when the machine breaks down, we break down. Number 1. Amadeus, 1984. Hey, now that is a challenge. Oh. That is a challenge. Amadeus is a 1984 epic period biographical drama film directed by Milos Forman and stars F. Murray Abraham, Tom Hulse, Elizabeth Barrage, and Roy Dotrice. This fictionalized biography of legendary composer Mozart focuses on his rivalry as a young man with Italian composer Antonio Salieri. Retold from Salieri's point of view, the story recounts the tale of Mozart's life, successes, and troubles, as well as Salieri's insane jealousy of the musician's talents. The movie was nominated for 53 awards and received 40, including eight Academy Awards. The rule is you can only give a penalty that can be performed in the room. I'm tired of this game. I don't want to play anymore. But my penalty! Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments below if you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description.
And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.